Hey you guys, I wanted to make this video really fast. It won't be long because I wanted to discuss this hypocrisy going on with Omari Hardwick. He was talking about an interaction that he had with a black woman who wanted a picture with him and I want to go more into that and also this Beyonce situation. So if you're interested in knowing what it is that occurred, please stay tuned for this video. If you have acne problems, hyperpigmentation, and you want a fast and effective solution, definitely go to Simply K Inc. She has an array of skincare products. Go to ashkicking.com. Use Paris Milan at checkout for 15% off to get all of your personal hygiene related needs. Please go and support Soulfully Scented. They are a black owned hair care store that uses natural products. Go pick up your hair care products today at SoulfullyScentedLV.com. X Moisture has a great skincare moisturizer that can be applied to combat dry skin and an array of different skincare issues. Please go to XMoisture.com and pick up your jar today. So currently Beyonce has just won an NAACP Image Award and she and Jay-Z was at the NAACP awards to collect her award and there was this weird incident that occurred with Omari Hardwick where I think he was going up to Beyonce to congratulate her and it was awkward because the way that he kissed her twice and the positioning of where he kissed her was so close to her mouth and then you can look at Beyonce's face and tell that she was uncomfortable. There was something that really sparked me to make this video because I feel as though the kiss that he did on her cheek was very disrespectful because he didn't need to kiss her twice like that and also it was so close to her mouth and in front of Jay Z, I was just thinking to myself like how awkward is that but it also brought back the situation that occurred about eight or nine months ago there was this black woman that walked up to Omari and she walked a very long distance in order to get a photo or an autograph from him I can't remember which it was but she simply just wanted to acknowledge her favorite actor and I want to play you guys the clip of his reaction to her doing so and also her giving her account of what exactly occurred now Mark, I gotta ask uh oh yes sir bubba. now um somebody called the pair one day <laughs> yes uh -oh. it was mad at you they said they went to the park to see you you were with your family oh gosh and you would not that take a picture crazy. now I, I said <laughs> you like I know the brother with his family I get, I get it like this is my family yeah. yeah but she was hot yeah she was pretty upset she was so she was just so disrespectful did you hear what did she say oh we got we got it play, let's play. <laughs> So Don't worry, Tika, we I got you. What she said. <laughs> I, mean, I never heard what she said. What she was I was in Brooklyn Bridge Park, and I spotted Omari Hardwick, and I walked up to him, and you know, I told him he was a great actor, like and I no, told him I was a, a fan, actor. and that could I get a photo with him? And he was like, no, 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 no photos because I'm with my family. So I said, oh, really? Okay, and I went to walk off. He started yelling and screaming at me. Oh, all you care about is that. goals. You didn't even that. acknowledge my family. And that. he just went all off, <laughs> off telling me he doesn't even want laughing. me to be his fan. <laughs> that's 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 yeah, so I didn't even say nothing. I just turned, no, actually, I turned around and I looked at him. And I said, you know what? I said, now I see that you are really the complete and I just turned around and I just walked off. The sister walked up like a hundred miles, so there was a nanny there, and the nanny was like, "She's been following you for like that three blocks." I was like, "Oh, so you come?" I said, "No, ma'am, I'm with my family, you know, whatever." And she was like, "Really? No picture?" She said, "Really?" As if, "Are you crazy?" <laughs> you knew, Emmy. She didn't at all walk away and go, "Okay, I got you." She sat there and looked at me and went, "Really?" Mm. And I said, "Really." I'm with my family. God bless you. Which I always say, I mean, mm -hmm. God bless you. Then the, the, she stays and then the nanny goes like, he said it, he's with his family. I said, you're staring at me, you're not even acknowledging my family. So the only more, the only point of making, the only reason I say you're not acknowledging my family is because she, I'm like, are we, are you trying to buck up at me? Like, what mm. is going, what are you doing? Why are mm -hmm. you staring at me? Right. I yeah. said it. It's always a hard thing. I, I said it. Yeah. I said, I said no. And she kept like, she said, really, like three, really? I'm like, yeah, sometimes people, people say People don't no. understand that, because you know, you're with your family, so you're like, I work yeah. so much, this is my this is quality my time. time. Yeah. And she's like, and I said, God bless you, like what the? So then this brother came on, and he posted or whatever, and I, I commented back, because I was like, when a when young brother's out of place, I gotta, and he kept saying, yeah, these celebrities act like they God, watch yourself, playboy. Ooh. So then I, then, uh -oh. and then Martin I got in the ghost. He yeah, got in the ghost. Like, <laughs> and then he wrote a whole yeah, like a dissertation, whole, I, I yeah, a biography. <laughs> I did a whole thing. I, I checked him and what he thought happened. Right. I tried to put him 
You know, I never called him out of his name, but I, you know, I definitely said Playboy like five times since he used that on me. <laughs> What's the right way to approach somebody for you guys? Like, what is the right way? She for wasn't some... all like I, I like that Henry brought it up because I can now say it publicly. She wasn't off for walking up, whether 100 miles or 500 miles. Or you don't think we're humble by that? That's amazing to us. Yeah. But when you make it that far, now it's very different. Think about it. It is very different when somebody tells Tika and I, and they come to an event to watch us, they go, yo, I drove from Connecticut. You're going to get that picture. Right. right. And you know what? Jay usually grabs the camera. You know how many times Jay's grabbed the camera and taken a picture? Obviously, she's a secure woman. Mm -hmm. Obviously, whomever is married to Tika and any other female lead actress I've worked with is secure with these women. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they're very secure to people we go home to. They'll grab the camera. But disrespect is disrespect every day of the week and twice on Sunday. So you just heard in that clip where she just clearly wanted an autograph or a photo and he made it this big ordeal that he's with his family. And I understand that entertainers get irritated when they are with their family and they want pretty much to be left alone and then get these people that walk up to them asking for autographs, asking for photos when realistically they just want to be left alone. I understand that 100%. But I do feel as if he went overboard with the situation because he has had issues in the past where people were talking about his wife being ugly and I feel as though when women more specifically black women walk up to him and don't acknowledge his wife it makes him feel some sort of way and it makes him reminisce about the times that some of these black women were talking about his wife being hideous online this is why some black women need to be careful with certain black men that date outside of their race in terms of idolizing them as celebrities because it makes them feel insecure when they see this attractive black woman who's constantly asking for his autograph especially in front of his wife like I'm I'm not one of those that's gonna lie and say oh she's a beautiful woman she's definitely not she kind of looks like Marilyn Manson to me it makes him feel some sort of way when you guys don't acknowledge his wife but still it's like you shouldn't have to pull teeth to ask a celebrity for his autograph whether he's with his family or not again I understand that these people are human beings that need privacy at times but I really feel like he went overboard because she was a black woman and some of these men that date outside their race just don't have patience black women whatsoever so black women be careful with supporting men like Omari Hardwick so the thing is is that how can you go on this long diatribe about respecting your wife and respecting your family and that people need to acknowledge them yet you walk up to Beyonce in front of her husband I get that this wasn't a private event and that it was public I don't know if he knows them personally or whatever but you walk up to her and you already hug her so what was the need for these two kisses Mr. Respect my family and acknowledge my wife you had just shook her husband's hand and then you walk over to her and you kiss her so close to her freaking mouth like this is the person that you wouldn't expect to do something like this this person that's supposed to have this moral upstanding character that knows how to respect others families but you kissed this married woman so close to her freaking mouth and you could just look at Beyonce's face and tell like she felt some sort of way but she wasn't gonna make a big deal out of it but I thought back to that situation of the breakfast club where he has this very aggressive energy on there and how he was just so insistent that this black woman was disrespecting him even though I don't think she was intentionally trying to disrespect him but how he was so amped up because she just simply wanted a photo or autograph and you're such a groupie when it comes to Beyonce that you try to get so close to kissing her and it's just disgusting to see how thirsty you came across. Mr. I love my family, my wife aided me and my sustenance, all this other stuff that you had to say. When it comes to Beyonce, you had no problem disrespecting her in front of her husband. He's trying to paint to the public that he's so strict about people respecting his wife and that we better make sure we acknowledge her. Yet when the time comes for you to be a groupie, thirsty Negro, to get Beyonce's attention. It's just disgusting to me to see the way that you interacted with her. So anyways, you guys, let me know what you feel about this video and him in the past being so uptight about people acknowledging his wife, but how he clearly disrespected Beyonce and Jay-Z. Please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!